Hi, I'm Anita Fernandez, and I'm an education professor at Prescott College in Arizona. You've probably never heard of it, but it's a great college. And uh, one of the reasons the Prescott College is so great is that um, it allows professors like myself the freedom to do just what Nolan was talking about, which is to be scholars and activists at the same time, and to recognize that and to give credit for that. Um, so out of, out of my scholar activism, together with um, some of the Mexican American Studies teachers, I was lucky enough to develop and now direct the Chicano Chicana Institute for Teaching and Organizing her. Oh. So uh, Chico's goal is to um, do one of the things that Arizona really doesn't ever do. Um, Arizona is very infamous for exporting uh, anti-immigrant, neoliberal, racist policies and ideologies. Um, whatever happens in Arizona is immediately exported to other very conservative communities like Texas. So we ban books or we create anti-immigrant laws and there are other states at the ready to take that on. So what Chito does is we decided that we're going to export the very successful pedagogy, the decolonial, indigenous epistemology that Nolan just told us is so successful with young people. And so we are exporting something that is very literally saving young people's lives. Young people who are low income, young youth of color, and I say that not just tongue in cheek saving lives because all of the statistics that Nolan has um, shared with us and are now documented in this highly revered journal literally decrease the chances of premature death right when you are have more of a chance not to be pushed out of school or more of a chance to see yourself and see have that self-worth and those ties to your ancestors and who you are your chances of having a longer life of not being incarcerated of not having self-hate, all of those things will extend your life. And so, Brian mentioned, where's Brian? It's right here. You know, that Curtis had said, um, you know, in other countries I would, you know, be killed for, for teaching this. Um, but literally, that the curriculum was saving people's lives, right? And so, people don't have that curriculum right now. We, are, we have an opportunity to create that curriculum and continue that curriculum. But there are young people who don't have an opportunity to live as long, literally, because this has been banned from the school districts. So Chito has decided to provide professional development to teachers that are interested in learning how to do the MAS curriculum in their own communities, taking what is applicable to their communities and using the indigenous epistemology there. And so we, we provide institutes uh, a few times a year. Our next one is in June. If anyone wants to come to Tucson in June, it's hot, but it's great. And um, you it's too, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. You can learn about um, everything that made this program so successful. Um, so that that's the, my role right now is, um, which also came out of building class with Curtis, which was another, you know, very deliberate, resistant. Um, action that Curtis started, which was offering Sunday school in Chicano literature. Once it was banned, he said, I'm not going to stop teaching Chicano literature. I'm going to meet on Sundays with the students. And so then he and I started talking about, hey, maybe there's a way that Presley College can give these youth credit. And so we created a college class. We offered college credit for Curtis's Sunday class. And, um, and then we continued that on the next spring. Jose Gonzalez and Norma Gonzalez taught uh, the class in Chicano Literature and Social Studies. And so it is, Chito is really building this notion of resistance and resilience. Um, and we talk about, you know, one of the Sabatistas' seven tasks is this notion of construir y no destruir, right? Build and do not destroy. And there are a lot of folks who still want to destroy stuff into stuff. You know, structures in Tucson. Like, we keep seeing that over and over, right in Arizona. And we are, Chito, Larry, everybody sitting up here is really looking forward and ahead to what can we build. Uh, because we have to keep the momentum going. And you all being here is 
in this space really gives us the hope that that can happen all across the country, and we're deeply humbled by that and appreciative, so thank you very much. I do want to add, before I hand it back to Maika, I really want to recognize um, my brother, Sean Arce, who I couldn't have built Chito without, who is my co-instructor. Co-founder and has just taught me so much about this epistemology and this pedagogy, and has never, um, never changed his stance about the need for for having this back in the school district for the kids, and has sacrificed a tremendous amount um, for himself and his family and his community. And so I just really wanted to recognize Sean.